I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on test preparation. We have a multiple choice question based on coordinate geometry. The question is a line has an x intercept of 12 and y intercept of minus 4. What is the shortest distance of the line from the origin? Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's sketch the scenario, right? So that is a coordinate axis. We are given a line whose x intercept is 12 and y intercept is minus 4. So let's say kind of like this. And what we need to find is the shortest distance of the line from the origin. So that is from here, right? So that is the distance which we are looking for. Okay. In a multiple choice question, you can actually assume the answer. Since we are given the y-intercept of minus 4, x-intercept of 12, and that is the shortest distance, we can see that it is very close to 4, right? And definitely less than 4. So the terms given in square root, so it is almost equal to square root 16. So we expect the answer as 14.4. Does it make sense to you? So from a diagram, which may be rough, you do get fairly good idea about the answer. And if you're running short of time, this is a very good technique to answer. I hope that makes sense, right? In fact, I'll prefer to use this method to answer the question if these type of choices are given to you. That is the shortest distance from the origin, clear? Now let's talk about the actual method, right? So first step will be, we are given these two points, will be to find this point of intersection from O to this point. Let's call this point as P. So once we know OP, we can find the length. How do we get OP? So let's say line is L1. So let's find equation of line L1. Okay. For that, we need slope and a point. We have the slope M as uh, you can see it is a positive slope going up by 4 rise and run is 12 so it is definitely 4 over 12 which is 1 over 3 we could take y intercept which is the value of b equals to minus 4 so sorry minus 4 so the equation of this line is y equals to 1 over 3x minus 4 clear now let's talk about the perpendicular OP. So, so if we are looking for the line OP, in that case the slope should be equal to negative reciprocal, that means minus 3. And therefore, the equation will be y equals to minus 3x, correct? Since it goes through origin, right? Since it is going through the origin. So we have the equation of both the lines. And now we should find the point of intersection. So to find the point of intersection, we could substitute and get the answer, right? So now I hope you can always uh, pause and solve and then check your solution with my answer. Okay, so point of intersection, we need between the two lines. So L1 is basically y equals to 1 over 3x minus 4. And the second line, let's call it L2, is y equals to minus 3x. So if I write here minus 3x and solve for x, we know the point P, right? So let us solve. So we'll sub. So let's call these uh, equations 1 and 2, right? So we have this equation. We call this as 1. And this equation here, we call this one as 2. So now we'll substitute 2 in 1. Correct. So if you do that, you get minus 3x. So y is equal to minus 3x should be equal to 1 over 3x minus 4. And now we can cross multiply and get the value of x. So you get minus 9x 
equals to x minus 12 bringing x to uh, uh, this side and 9x to the other side we get 12 equals to x plus 9x so that gives you that 12 over 10 is equal to x right x plus 9x is 10 okay so once we get the value of x we can get the value of y right so what we have now is x equals to uh, 12 over 10 right you could write 1.2 also and y should be equal to what well y is minus 3 times x so that is minus 3 times 12 over 10 right so which is uh, let's keep it like this minus 3 12 over 10 okay so uh, this is better since basically we need to find the distance correct so we get the point p which is 12 over 10 and then we have minus 3 times this you may write 36 okay 36 over 10 is that clear to you right 3 times 12 i'll keep it like this since uh, you will soon realize that finding distance using this formula is better especially when calculator is not allowed sometimes in such questions calculator is not really allowed right okay so let's find the distance op so distance op we may write like this this is the distance op always a positive value should be how much so from o to this treat this as a right angle triangle so we get the x value square which is 12 over 10 square plus the y value square which is uh, 3 times 12 over 10 square correct so when you do that 12 over 10 is a perfect uh, common right so we can write 12 over 10 square as common right and what we get here is 1 plus 3 square is 9 so we get 1 plus 9 which is 10 so this is 9 right so okay so which is 10 so what we get since we have answers in square roots I'm not really taking the term outside right so 12 square is 144 10 square is 100 and 1 plus 9 is 10 right so we get this so one of the zeros cancel so what we really get is 14.4 square root is that clear so that is how we get a solution and it is b which is square root of 14.4 so i hope these steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best